When disaster strikes, keeping California's highways open for fleeing residents and emergency vehicles can mean life or death. Caltrans can't wait for catastrophe before it starts planning, however, which led to Firecast 2016. The emergency response drill gauged the ability of District 10 and other agencies to work in unison and overcome a devastating wildfire. It included satellite trucks to ensure communication, as well as a unified command center and even a portable steel plate bridge capable of carrying heavy vehicles over creeks and gullies. The focal point was the unified command center, however, with representatives from Caltrans critical units. So they, they have an instant command center there too. That's why we parked our comp center there. So it's that red light gray and it's fancy. We're here with Tony Tavares, director of the department's emergency operations center in Sacramento. Tony, the first thing I noticed, there's a nice sense of realism here for this drill. Why is that important? You know, it's important because Caltrans has a responsibility to the public and to the state of California to keep our infrastructure open and keep the public safe during the incident. Um, it's just a matter of time before California faces a real incident such as a major fire, earthquake, or flood. And so we want to be prepared for those real-time incidents. We try to be as best prepared as we can when a real incident does occur. And as Tony mentions, you know, our, our primary goal is to what? To protect the lives and our property of our infrastructure and get um, uh, everyone back and moving on our highways, right? So we continue to focus on that when emergency does happen. It's great to see the whole team here when working with headquarters and that we do have a lot of support, not just here in District 10, not just there in um, headquarters, but across the state. Caltrans plays an important role following disasters as well. It quickly returns to these devastated regions to fuel community resiliency, repairing roads, inspecting bridges, and replacing guardrail. The ability to quickly move resources during and after disaster remains one of Caltrans' great challenges, but we have a solution for that. When bridges go down in remote areas in the foothills, Caltrans can come in, put one across the way to get trucks to where they need to go. We'd like to thank the folks from Caltrans District 4 for joining us for the District 10 Emergency Operations Center exercise.